Are you a trader that uses buy and sell indicators? Do you use a lot of indicators on your chart and are they working for you? Are you a profitable trader and are you making money in the stock market? Well, with my last 30 years of trading, I figured out that there are very, very, very few indicators that will actually work and that will actually make you money in the stock market. Because at the end of the day, it's not about your system. It's not about your indicators. It's about your strategy and how you can win in the stock market. I'm going to take you to the charts today. I'm going to show you a system that will help you have a strategy that will make you money in the stock market or forex or futures or commodities or whatever it is you might be trading just this is it this is the strategy guys the whole point here is is to lose less on your losses and make more on your wins this is going to be the best buy and sell strategy and best buy and sell indicator that you've ever seen. This is the one that will work for you. But just keep in mind, guys, before we go to the charts, that trading is risky. 80% of traders do lose money. And if you don't like risk and you don't like losing money, you most probably shouldn't be trading. After we've been to the charts, we'll talk about the free gift I've got to, for you. And I'm also going to talk about the funded trader challenge that we're going to be looking at for the near future next week in fact but yes that's it that's the one that's where we're going we're going with well it's actually this week sorry yeah totally <laughs> let's get on that let's let's try and make a date let's get it going guys let's get it going so with that let's go to the charts and let's go and have a look at the best buy and sell indicator that you will ever come across so we're talking about the most accurate buy sell indicator so you guys are expecting to find an indicator when i don't use indicators on a regular basis so what are we going to do we're going to use support and resistance because that's what we always use now choose a product guys choose a product let's have a look at gold what about gold we're always trading forex let's look at gold so with gold we're not going to use support and resistance we're going to use trend line resistance it's hit one two three four times already probably the fifth one coming soon and we're looking to trade long out of the gold why because we've got an uptrend it's trending up you can take this from the day chart as well, just like we do with support and resistance. You do have confirmation with the resistance at the top here. If you take this trend line and you draw it along the top here, you'll have a very similar scenario where you've got it in a channel and you can basically trade within that channel. So you can actually do that right now. Let me just see where it is. There we go. There's your channel. So now you've got a trend line channel and then you can trade between the two. So there's your market structure. And now you wait for it to come off here, bounce and go back up to the top here. So you're probably going to reach about 25.80 on a long. So that's price action for you. That's market structure for you. And that's just trading with basic trend lines. This is what I used to do 30 years ago, guys. Draw this in with a pencil. So there you go. That's quite simple. Now let's have a look at something like, uh, let's see, the Euro, Great British Pound. Let's see what we've got here. Okay. There you go. So what have we done here? Actually, what we've done is we've gone to the day chart and on the day chart, put it on a line chart. And what we've done is we've drawn in our support and we've drawn in a resistance on your day chart. And you take it back to the candles. You simply go back to your lower time frame. In my case, it's the four hour because I don't like sitting and watching charts all day. But you can use it on any time frame. I've had that question. Can you use this system on any time frame? Guys, you can use this system on any time frame, on any product, on any type of trading, because all you're doing is predicting the future. That's all you're doing. You're not, it's it's not rocket science. And any system that you want to trade on, you can use the same system. So now this Euro Great British Pound is going down. It's going down towards the support. And at the support level, you're going to want to take it long and go up at the moment moment it's going short and you've taken the short and it's going down now why do I say that because you took the short with a view to your stop loss being up just above the resistance and then you bring it down short and when it starts doing well like this you move your stop loss down into break even 
So now you've got nothing to lose. So all this profit. Now I know the fear in your mind is telling you that you've got all this profit and you want to get out of the trade. But effectively, guys, you don't want to get out of this trade. You want to stay in this trade. So you just move your stop loss down to break even. Now think of it this way. You haven't lost anything yet. You really haven't lost anything. If, if this goes the wrong way and goes against you, all you're going to do is get a break even trade. That's all that's going to happen to you. You're going to walk away with a break even trade so think about it that way if it breaks through the support and it goes carries on going short what are you going to do are you going to sell at this point no what you're going to do is you're going to move your stop loss down to the same level as what you had it away in points before and you're going to take the trade and you're going to hope to to, to let it go even shorter than what it already was. And that's the basis of support and resistance. This is the best indicator you can ever have because it helps you to manage your risk. You put your risk above the resistance, you take the short, and if it goes through the support, you can move the stop loss all the way down and you can take the trade from there onwards. Yes, you've doubled your trade if you want to add to the trade. Yes, you've changed your cost, but you've also still got all of that profit going all the way down to to that level and that's the basis of it how it goes us 500 let's have a look at the us 500 because we know that's a tricky one you could look at this in two ways this is a lamp pole formation so this has gone straight up not only has it bounced off the support broken through one resistance and it's hit another resistance and it's waiting to break through if it breaks through this resistance and goes long this is going to be one hell of a long trade then you put your stop loss just down here and you watch it go up and then once it's going up just move your stop loss into into break even and then just keep moving your following your stop loss behind it if you want to add to the trade you can if it goes short then what you're going to do is you're going to wait for a confirmation of a nice big red candle telling you it's going short like that but it went against i actually got stopped out on that trade but i got stopped out at a break even because i had my stop loss up here when i went into profit i brought my stop loss down to my cost in which case when it went back it took my stop loss up at break even it was my fault I took the trade too early. I didn't wait for confirmation. I got into the trade too early. Simple as that. This time I didn't take the trade. This time I left it alone. I didn't touch it and it's going back again. Now what I'm waiting for is if we get a nice big red candle out of here, I think it might just tank off short then if we get another big red candle going down and then you might be able to take the short and when it goes down, you can move the stop loss down again. It is a risky trade because it's against trend and I'm expecting with trend that this might be a consolidation and if it breaks through this resistance, it's going to shoot up to the long side. And there's a very good possibility of that happening, especially with such a big lamp pole formation in front of it. That could break through there. Then you put your stop loss down here. And if it comes down and hits your stop loss, just let it go. Don't worry about it. But if it comes back, goes back up again, add to the trade and let it go. Move your stop loss up and off you go. Support and resistance is the best indicator that you will ever find in the stock market. And oddly enough, probably the most accurate because even with these large bands that you put in here, it's more accurate than some of the more fancy systems that you actually get on the markets at the moment. You get all these fan fancy fandangled systems, moving average crossovers, MACDs, all the rest of it, all these complicated mathematical products, when all you've got to do is simply look at the picture and just trade with the, with where it's going. It's not a good idea to trade against the trend here, but you know, sometimes I do like to take a high risk trade and try it out. I would prefer if this thing breaks through here and gives me a nice long trade because then I know I'm going with the trend on this particular trade and it would actually make me feel a little bit better about it. <laughs> now that you know the strategy, now that you know how you can trade in the markets and become profitable in the markets and understand that trading is a 50-50 game. And I keep reiterating this, and I know a lot of you don't actually believe me when I tell you that trading is a 50-50 game. A lot, of, a lot of you guys have said, but how can trading be 50-50? I had one great comment from a guy who said 50% is real, and then you own the casino. I mean, that is a great comment, China. That's, <laughs> that's the one. Because really, guys, the best traders on earth are 50-50 traders. Really, if you think that you can pick a system that's going to give you a 90% win rate because some guy told you this 
then you're sadly mistaken because you're looking at the market from the wrong perspective. Because what you're looking at is a system that can give you nine wins out of 10. Now, every system on the stock market can give you nine wins out of 10. It can give you the edge. If every single time it goes into profit, you quickly jump out and take the profit, then very much, yes, you are going to make a profit, but a tiny little profit. And then that one trade that you lose is going to make a huge loss. And guess what? You're going to make a loss over the overall 10 trades so what you've got to learn to do is stop loss out at very small amounts and follow your wins for as long as you possibly can now in my previous videos i've shown you how you can scale your trades up and i've had a couple of disagreements on that as well how can you scale your trades up because then you're moving your cost up and so on and so on and so on you know guys Here's the thing. You're quite happy to, to add to your losses. You're quite happy to make your trade bigger with your losses, but you're really not happy to make your trade bigger on a win. And I, I struggle to understand that because maybe I've switched my mindset around over the last 30 years and I've switched it around to making your winning trades bigger and making your losing trades smaller. <laughs> but I see it the other way around so often and people are scared to make their winning trades bigger because then your cost is going to go up and you know, there's a good chance that it might come back and take that little bit of profit that you made away. If you're struggling with this, do yourself a favor. In the beginning, look at it as I haven't lost anything yet and I haven't won anything yet. I'm still in the trade. So if you can take your stop loss up to a break even, at least you haven't lost anything and then you can just see what happens. Try that for a while. If you're scared to add to the wins, just try and follow your wins. Just try and Move your stop loss up to a level where you haven't really lost anything. Don't worry about all that profit that's lying there. Just worry about not losing anything for the start and see how that where that takes you. Maybe you'll be able to switch your mindset over as you go a little bit further into it. So guys, as I said to you, we're going to get the funded trader challenge going together now. I'm trying to negotiate a couple of challenges for you guys so that you one or two of you will get a free challenge and uh, we'll see how that goes. But I'm still working on the details on that and how I'm going to sort it out. If we get that, that'll be great. In the meantime, you can go down to the link in the description and go and have a look at the funded trader and see, you know, if if you can sort of pick up the rules and what have you about this thing, if that's where you're going with it. Because I know a lot of you guys don't have the money or the cash to trade with your own money. Now, guys, don't forget, I always recommend that you trade with your own money. It's more, it's really, really important to trade with your own money. But if you can't, if you don't have that ability and you want to be a funded trader, because I see there's a lot of them out there, um, you'll know that I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of this, but I am trying it out. And the reason I'm trying it with you guys is because I actually want to see if it's possible for a guy like me with all this experience, I want to see if it's possible for me to make the profit as well or to pass this challenge or whatever the case. Because I've had a lot of comments where the guys say we can't take this stop loss or we can't do this or we can't do that because we've got these rules and we've got these drawdowns. And so I'm just trying to play in line with the rules and see if we can be successful along the lines in line with the rules. So we're going to do a live. I'm trying to figure out what day will be best. I think maybe Wednesday will be a good day. We'll see and we'll do an hour when the US opens and I'll try and let you guys know when it's opening up and all the rest of it. So we'll get to that. The free gift, I almost forgot to give you a free gift. The free gift is obviously the free Forex book, which is down in the description below. There's a there's a free Forex book there for you, a PDF, which tells you all about trends. Go and get it for yourself. It's totally free. Go and enjoy it. And don't forget, every day I put out trade of the day. It's not trading advice. It's just a trading idea. It's what I'm trading. And I'm just letting you guys know so that you can follow along and get a good idea for what's trading in the market and for what's not trading in the market. That's just from my side. You know, I'm giving it out there and it's just an idea. And it's just every day I try and get that trade of the day out there for the members for the guys who join the membership i actually try and put a video out every day and i also try and give a list of all the trades that are available or which way the market i feel those trades will go in the market like buy sell that sort of thing neutral whatever the case it just gives you more scope on my feeling and you can go and have a look at the charts and say what rob's crazy how can he even think this is a sell it's a long and then you've got something to think about at least day. <laughs> Because as you know, I'm not right every time. 
I'm a 50-50 trader like everyone else. And that's because some guys want to sell, some guys want to buy. We always trade against each other. So I hope that helps you guys this week. I hope it gets you on the, on the road. And don't forget to come back and watch the next video, which is uh, going to be on Wednesday. And that video is going to be about the price action rules that traders are hiding from you. That's important. You need to know the price action rules. So we're going to talk about that. And we're going to talk about that on Wednesday. So don't forget to come back and don't forget to watch the last videos. Thanks. Cheers. And bye.